Well, earnings season will really heat up this week as the big banks post their latest results. Tomorrow, Wells Fargo and J.P. Morgan are expected to report their quarterly numbers. Later in the week, we'll hear from Bank of America, Citigroup, and Goldman Sachs. Kayla Tausche is with us now to talk about what investors are going to be looking for because the financials are so key to the market going forward. They're really the barometer of the overall economy, Sue, and it appears that the fourth quarter will show a tale of two businesses. On one side, the Main Street facing businesses of Wall Street are going to do really well. Lower oil prices mm -hmm. and continued low interest rates will help demand for loans. Consumer spending will be up and people will use that extra money to pay off their bills. But ironically, the Wall Street side of the business, trading activity, some of the IPO activity, and some of the more high finance areas of the business won't do so well because of all the various macroeconomic parts mm -hmm. of the market that will affect it. I thought trading was pretty, I mean, there was a big volume in the stock market last year. There were it was not as much volatility, but certainly a lot this year. Why is trading suffering? You would think that more volatility would mean more volume in the market, and it does. But what executives have been saying as recently as last month is that a lot of this trading has become electronic trading, right. more each quarter, and they don't make as much money off of that. It's cheaper for the traders to execute, but it's yeah. not as much revenue for the, the banks. The margins aren't as good, Exactly. Basically. What about the low interest rate environment? That hasn't helped them either. No, and that's the single biggest thing that they're hoping for in 2015. Everybody thought in 2014 that would be the year that we would, if not, if we didn't see the Fed raise interest rates, then that would be the year that at least yields would start going up and they would make more money off of loans that they were making to borrowers. Right. That didn't happen. So they're really pinning all of their hopes on 2015 as a year where interest rates and yields rise and their overall business model becomes and a little quickly, bit more quickly, are there are the big banks legal problems behind them or do they, are there still more fines to come? Not even close. You read my mind, Tyler. We actually already have word that Citigroup, as of last month, it announced that it was going to be taking a $2.7 billion legal charge related to alleged manipulation of currencies mm -hmm. and benchmark right. interest rates. Um, but Citi's not alone. They're just the only bank that's pre-announced that. So we could see some line items for some of these banks that are big ticket items, it's just become impossible to predict. All right. Kayla, thank you so much. Appreciate it.